and welcome back to another video of Medic Notes. This video will be on hemolytic uremic syndrome. It is characterized by a triad of characteristics which include microangiopathic hemolytic anemia. Microangiopathic means the capillary walls become weak and thicken, causing bleeding. Thrombocytopenia, where there is reduced in thrombocytes, also known as platelets, and renal injury. So this hemolytic uremic syndrome is a very important cause of acute kidney injury in children. It mostly occurs in children less than 5 years old, but it can also occur in older child. And the most common type is associated with prodromal diarrhea illness. So this is the etiology of hemolytic uremic syndrome. It can be due to contamination of any food such as meat, fruit, veggies or water contaminated with verotoxin producing E. coli. A specific type is the O157H7 or it can be due to Shigella. And this infection will inactivate the Adam TS13 causing microthrombi and later on hemorrhagic enterocolitis thus causing hemolytic uremic syndrome. The clinical features, the child may have symptoms and it can be divided into the prodromal phase or the acute phase, which is 7 to 10 days later. For prodromal phase, they may have diarrhea or even bloody stools due to enterocolitis. And in acute phase, which is 7 to 10 days after, they may present with weakness, lethargy, abdominal pain, signs of acute kidney injury such as oliguria or anuria, where there is reduced in urine output, hematuria, where there is blood in urine or bleeding tendency due to thrombocytopenia, where there is reduced in platelets. The signs that we may be able to identify are such as pallor due to the hemolytic anemia. The child may appear irritable. They may be petechial due to thrombocytopenia, lack of platelets, and also look out for signs of dehydration, which could be due to the diarrhea. Hypertension may be seen in child with volume overload or acute kidney injury, and we should also look out for central nervous system signs such as seizure or encephalopathy. And 25% of the cases, the child might have seizure, which is often associated with this hemolytic uremic syndrome. Other organs that may be affected could have signs of pancreatitis, cardiac dysfunction, or perforation of the colon. For investigation, we can do full blood count, where we expect to see normochromic normocytic anemia, which is a sign of hemolytic anemia. There will be also be thrombocytopenia, where there is low platelets. And another finding of hemolytic anemia would be increase in reticulocyte count. Other findings include leukocytosis, increase in LDH, and decrease in heptoglobin. For peripheral blood film, we may be able to see schistocytes or birth cells. And liver function tests, there will be an increased number of unconjugated bilirubin, and also increase AST. For urine investigations, for renal profile, sorry, that is for blood investigation, for renal profile, they may be elevated creatinine in dehydrated cases, and urinalysis may show the presence of hematuria, proteinuria, or pyuria, and even some cast. Other investigations include stool culture, where it might be positive result for E. coli, or positive stool test for shiga toxin, Combs test negative to rule out other causes of hemolytic anemia, and also D-dimer will be normal. This is to rule out other diseases such as uh, lupus disease or consumptive coagulopathy. So for management of this hemolytic uremic syndrome, supportive management would include hydration for the child, volume repletion, early hydration for the diarrhea, the loss of fluids, Control the hypertension and also remember to avoid antibiotics and antidiarrheal medications as these medications may increase the risk of developing this hemolytic uremic syndrome. Also, management can be to manage the complications and dialysis is indicated if there is uncorrected renal insufficiency. Red blood cell transfusion can be given in severe cases or platelet transfusion can be given if in cases of active hemorrhage and platelet transfusion is not usually given unless in active hemorrhage because it might worsen the thrombotic microangiopathy 
So that's all for this video. Thank you.